How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to go over all of these Pokemon cards from my childhood. This is my current collection that I've bought throughout the years uh, from flea markets, from Goodwills. Some of these are actually my personal cards that I used and played with as a kid with some creases. But there is a increase in the market for these so I pulled them out from my mom's house. We're gonna go through them. I haven't looked at them in years. I don't really know anything about cards. But that's what this video is for. We're gonna kind of do a Pokemon series. So that's kind of what we're gonna be going over. Um, if you have any tips about these cards, about getting them graded, I uh, would love to hear them out in the comments. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm not a Pokemon channel, but this will be a short series as I learn about trading cards and grading to hopefully share and show you guys the investment. I, I have about... $20 invested in all of these cards right here. Most of them were from a flea market purchase. Flea market in Miami, I bought the, a lot of these ones that are in cases for $10. And then some of the other ones that are not in cases, I pulled out of um, some binders that I bought from Goodwill for like four or $5. So I don't have much invested in these cards, but I wanna get my best bang for my buck, which is probably why I'm going to grade some of them. But I wanna go through every single one with you guys just to show the collection for what it is right now and then we'll get some of them graded and I'll show you guys some of the process that I've been going through. I posted this on Instagram, people were going bonkers for it, trying to buy it off me, but I really wanna use this as an opportunity to show the process of getting cards graded and what I really can get for some of these cards. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the cards. We're gonna go through this bin, which is an old memories box. Some Pokemon cards in here. There they are. And we're gonna go through every single card in this box. I did a teaser on Instagram. People were wanting to buy my collection uh, just from one picture. And most of these cards I bought in 2013 from a flea market for $10. I don't know much anything about the collecting game but I do want to throw them out there so if anybody knows any information they can definitely leave a comment that would be much appreciated and super helpful for me. I know this is not a video about printers or computer repair but it is more on the reselling collecting side of things. My plan for these cards are to grade some of them most likely and then lot up the other ones and sell them as bundles, maybe within the same set or condition for people to play with them or use them. The grading aspect I have never done before, but I would like to maybe continue making a couple videos that as I learn more about Pokemon cards to share with everybody. So if you find some, maybe you can know some basics or learn how to grade cards yourself in order to maximize your potential profit. With all that being said, let's get into the cards because that's really what everyone came here for. So a lot of the cards are in cases. Some of them are just loose. There are Japanese as well as English cards in here. We'll do a quick flick through before we go through them one by one, just so you can see kind of what I'm dealing with right here. All I think almost all of these are in cases. We're gonna go through them one by one I'm gonna show you guys the front. I'm gonna show you guys the back if there's a case, if there's a card in the case, and then go on to the next card. So first we have this Machamp. It is holographic in the case, and on the back we have a Haunter, which is not holographic. We have a Zapdos. The Zapdos is holographic, and we have a Ninetales that is holographic. Snorlax, not holographic. Genghis Khan, not holographic. Snorlax, not holographic. Electabuzz, not holographic. Nido Queen, holographic. Muck, holographic. Doug Trio, not holographic. Nothing on the back. Electrode, not holographic. Electrode on the back, also not holographic. It's a double electrode. We got a B Drill, not holographic. Nothing on the back. Jinx, Japanese and a Mr. Mime on the back, both Japanese. Japanese holographic Scyther, Japanese trainer holographic, both of them are holographic. A Japanese Muck holographic, Japanese, uh, Japanese magnet guy holographic. 
Victory Bell, non-holographic. Mr. Mime, non-holographic. Holographic Porygon. Holographic Snorlax, Japanese. Both of them Japanese. Holographic Trainer, Japanese. Holographic uh, Vile Plume, I think is her name. Japanese. Another non-holographic Beedrill. Nothing on the back. Uh, holographic Machamp has a first edition stamp. I think all of these had a first edition stamp and they were purchasable in a like a starter pack back in the day, so that's probably not worth much. And an Arbok. Uh, Charizard, holographic, Japanese. And a, a Venusaur, holographic, Japanese. Blastoise, holographic. And a Blastoise holographic on the back. Blastoise, Japanese holographic. Arcanine, Japanese, non-holographic on the back. Jolteon, I think, Japanese, non-holographic, nothing on the back. Electabuzz, promo, I wonder if these are worth anything. I haven't looked at these up, so I don't know. Um, and then a Mewtwo promo on the back. Dragonite promo, Pikachu promo. Jolteon, non-holographic, and another Jolteon non-holographic on the back. Rhyhorn, Rhydon, one of those two. I, I can't remember the name. Holographic, nothing on the back. Trainer, non-holographic. Hitmonchan, holographic. Articuno, non-holographic. Hitmonlee, non-holographic. Empty case. Venomoth, holographic. Chansey, holographic. Hitmonlee, holographic. Magneton, non-holographic. I, I can't remember this guy's name. Non-holographic Japanese. Mr. Mime, non-holographic Japanese. Haunter, holographic, Lapras, holographic, Machamp, holographic, and a Charizard, Japanese, holographic. Polyrath, holographic. Clefairy, holographic. Empty case. Vaporeon, holographic. Vaporeon, non holographic. Gyarados, holographic. Wigglytuff. Holographic. Raichu. Holographic. Nothing on the back. Alakazam. Holographic. Victory Bell. Non-holographic. Uh, Egg... 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 Executor, I think the guy's name is. Japanese. Non-holographic. Porygon. Non-holographic. Japanese. Promo Mew. Non-holographic. Articuno. First edition. Non-holographic. Nothing on the back. Gengar. Non-holographic. Hitmonlee, non-holographic on the back. Mew, Japanese, non-holographic. Mew, no, Mewtwo, Japanese, non-holographic. Mew, Japanese, non-holographic. Uh, Zapdos, first edition, holographic. Zapdos, non-first edition, non-holographic. Gengar, uh, looks like non-holographic. And Mewtwo, holographic. Here are ones that I had when I was a kid. These are super warped. Articuno, holographic. Magneton, holographic. Gengar, holographic. Clefairy, holographic. Lapras, holographic. Look at how warped those are. I'm sure these ones are not worth much of anything. Mm, and then I have this stack right here that we're gonna go through. Um, some newer cards in here. Some cards that I've never heard of. So we got Luce, Lucario. I've seen the amiibo of this guy, holographic, uh, warped a little bit. We got Dust Tox, um, it's shiny, holographic, I guess. Obama Snow, holographic. Empoleon, that one is holographic. Fair Alligator, Fair Alligator, holographic, and Warren, holographic. Both also not in very good condition. A, this looks like a, a promo, Regigas. Holographic, Slay King, non-holographic, Torterra, holographic, Manaphy, holographic, Agron, holographic, Haunch Crow, holographic, Blastiodon, holographic, Mesprit, holographic, uh, a Mewtwo promo, that's an older one, non-holographic, and Medichamp, with the booty, with the peach, non-holographic. Cranidos, holographic, Magmortar, holographic. Magnium, holographic. Bennett, holographic. Arceus, holographic. Milotic, holographic. Solrock, holographic. 
Clefable Holographic, Zorark Holographic, Umbreon Holographic, Mr. Mime Holographic, Sneasel Non Holographic, another Lapras Holographic, Gengar Holographic, uh, a Charizard Holographic, nothing on the back. I don't know what edition this is from, but it's from 2009. Um, Poly Whirl Japanese, uh, a Trainer Japanese, a Jigglypuff. Japanese, Paras, Japanese, Muck, no, the Mud Guy, Japanese, Porygon, Japanese, Pikachu, just a regular Pikachu, non-holographic, Oddish, Japanese, Drowsy, Japanese, Clefairy, Japanese, Golbat, non-holographic, first edition, Gengar, Japanese, um, F Flameon? I, I can't remember this guy's name, Japanese. Machamp, first edition, I have three of these. Ekans, Japanese. Tolgetic, holographic. Muck, or the Mud Guy, Japanese. Magneton, non-holographic. Another Machamp looks newer, non-holographic. I think that guy's name is Licktongue, non-holographic. We have a Charizard, Japanese. This has gotta be worth something, right? Charizard, nothing on the back. Nine Tails, holographic. Rhyhorn, Japanese. Pikachu, Japanese. War Rain, holographic. Another Lapras, I think that's the second or the third Lapras with a Ditto holographic on the back. Clam Guy, non holographic. Grudon, non holographic. Cleffa, non-holographic, uh, Magikarp Japanese, Clefable non-holographic, Aerodactyl non-holographic, and then Nido King non-holographic. Okay, we're almost done. We have a Charmeleon Japanese, Arbok non-holographic, Reshiram holographic, Kling Klang holographic, Emborar, Embor, Holographic, Weevil, Holographic, Lugia Legend, Holographic, Zekrom, Holographic, Pidgeot, Holographic, Mbipom, Holographic, Rapardos, Non-Holographic, Venusaur, Non-Holographic. The artwork has gotten so bad on these, it's just like a computer generated, it's not even drawn by hand. Camerupt, Non-holographic, Armaldo holographic, Blossom holographic, Alekid non-holographic, Grumpig ho uh, non-holographic, Dustox non-holographic, Amphoros um, non-holographic, Primeape non-holographic, Gram Granbull. Non-holographic, another Ampharos, non-holographic, Pelipper, non-holographic, Rain Cast Form, non-holographic, Tyrogue, non-holographic, Ariados, non-holographic, Flygon, non-holographic, Pseudo Wudo, non-holographic, Obama Snow, non-holographic, Dusclops, RK9, another Pseudo Wudo. Deoxys, Zangers, all non-holographic. Uh, this thing in a case, I don't know what those are, like little markers. A very, very worn Feraligator. This thing is creased. Uh, not a lot of these cards are creased, but this one is. We have a Trainer, a Doug Trio, Mandibuzz holographic, Scarafty holographic, Sumerat holographic, Nido King holographic, Ninetales holographic, Solomon's holographic. Some have little marks in the corners like this Doug Trio. You can see that corner mark there. Um, some are in really good condition. So some cards are in cases, some are bare and warped. A lot of holographic, non-holographic. These are ones that I'm guessing are gonna be worth uh, probably the prettiest penny. The iconic characters such as Charizard, Blastoise and Holographic. There's another Charizard here. Um, I, I'm probably going to get these ones graded would be my guess. 
But if you have any tips, inside information about these, I'm gonna do a ton more research and probably make an update video about what I'm gonna do with these. But if you have any information that you would like to share with me off the top of your head, don't go and do a bunch of research for me. But if you know something off the top of your head that you just want to share, I would love to hear about it. Shoot me a comment in the comment section. But I do appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.